Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a neat, neat little micro quadcopter. We're seeing more and more of these come out. These are brushless micro FPV quadcopters. They are practically FPV racers. Uh, you look through the goggles and you, can, you can't distinguish whether you're flying a full-size FPV racer or a little micro. It's just these things are just so neat. And we're going to see a lot more of these as, as the summer progresses. Uh, we're switching from these little micros that you can fly indoors to the outdoor flyers. The, you know, this one does not even come with prop guards. You can tell right away, you know, this is actually meant for flying around at, outdoors. What you get with this is, first off, let's start with the 600 TVL 48 channel F, all in one FPV camera. Notice how it's um, uh, circular polarized antenna is smushed down closer to the uh, body here uh, to try to protect it a bit. Um, that might cause some interference though, but um, there is an attempt to protect it there by doing such. Additionally, we have 7,500 kV motors on this darn thing uh, and uh, powering these little, uh, what? let me get my cheat sheet here, these are 2035 uh, four props on here that are screwed onto the top of these uh, 7,500 kV motors. Um, these will give it a lot of lift, folks, These, especially with the 10 amp all-in-one, 4-in-one uh, uh, ESC that we got um, installed on this. Additionally, we got a 6-DOF um, F3 flight control board, configurable, and here's your configuration port, easily accessible with your uh, USB cable. It includes a beeper to alert you when you're out in the field. Additionally, I forgot to mention with this camera, we got telemetry and we have on-screen display. Uh, coming from this uh, that is configurable through Betaflight. Um, additionally, we got this little LED bar on the back here that's got uh, like a silent pattern. I believe it's called a Larson uh, scan on the back of this, um, which makes it, you know, look darn cool actually when it's flying. So all in all, we got one neat little quadcopter here. Uh, let me see, if, double check here, make sure I didn't miss anything on my cheat sheet. I think I did mention most of the, the important things of this flyer. So let's go for a flight of this and see how it performs. Um, I'm kind of excited to fly it, so hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, we're ready to go um, and get a look at, uh, get a close-up look at the quadcopter real quick. Show those lights on the back of it. See that scan? That's <laughs> just so cool looking. The way that goes right and left, you know, by your command. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. come on back, on. Let's, let's fly this thing. <laughs> okay, I got this uh, set up, um, putting it, arming it, and going to Acro. And we're going to start off in acro here. I might go to air mode here, but we'll see. Uh, let me adjust this on my face. And let's go to the air. Okay, let me get a feel for it first. General flight around the area. I'm just getting a feel for it. Okay, let's go around the trees now. General flight through the trees. The sun's a little bit low today, folks. Ooh, it feels like it can go fast. Another flight through the trees. Actually, let's go, let's go up high. I'm trying to punch. Oh, yes, it could punch. Went down in the field, coming back the other way. Let's try roll. Got to roll. Going the other way here. Going up high again. Let's try roll the other direction. Got to roll in that direction. So, oh no, it's flying great. Now I'm using the stock pids. I guess these could be adjusted a little bit better here. Um, but it's flying good actually. Go up and over the trees. Ooh, wow. <laughs> loop. High power loop. I should have reduced power on that loop. Okay, let's try speed. Coming the other way. Let's go between the soccer net. So, oh no, yeah, this is a nice little flyer here. Could you have it, its pits could be adjusted a little bit. I'll see about going on RC groups and see what others have uh, done with the pids on this. But all in all, 
what you're getting here, you're getting just about everything you need. Uh, beepers, OSD, uh, everything you could ask for in a micro. Um, this is available, and I forgot to mention, available in DSM-2, which I am flying, available in uh, Fly Sky and Free Sky versions. Let's go around these trees. Coming through here. Oh, you know, um, the nearest competitor to this would be the King Kong GT90. Uh, this is a be a darn good competitor to it. I'll give you that, folks. This this is a good one. <laughs> Come by close to us. Okay, let's try some more rolls. Going back up again. Bias again, doing a roll. So enjoyable. Now I'm looking at my voltage, 6.7 volts. I'm gonna stop at about. Uh, actually, I should be stopping soon. <laughs> How many minutes we've we been flying? Three, three minutes and 45 seconds. And we're we're below seven volts. We're about 3.5. I, I want to save that battery. That's this is enough for a first flight of it. Uh, I'm not going to take it down to three volts, folks, <laughs> like I normally do. Let's see if I can make it onto this pad. I'm going to cheat. Go ahead to acro or angle and try to land on that pad. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I got a little bit of a breeze. I'm fighting. You can do it. I think I'm there. Well, I'm close <laughs> enough. <laughs> so, and and let's disarm it. There we go. And there's our flight stats showing up on the board. And I will take that from you. Thank you. So, that's the first flight of the King Kong. Or not the King Kong. <laughs> the, oh, my goodness. The Aurora 100. It is a neat, neat quadcopter. Uh, lots of components. Uh, I like it just about as much as the uh, uh, King Kong, which I was mentioning there. <laughs> But I do will need to adjust those pids. There is need of a little bit of a pit adjustment there. And again, I'll go on um, RC groups again. I highly recommend RC groups for you folks getting into this. Um, it's a wealth of information on um, if you're getting into this sport. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.